after Christmas, I ended up getting COVID. Now, this might be one of my biggest hauls that I've ever done. <laughs> happy saturday welcome back to my channel my name is katie if you're new here and i'm gonna take you guys through a little weekend vlog and i have a couple really big things to share with you guys so the last time i made a video was before christmas and for those of you that don't know i'm a dance teacher so we take christmas break kind of like you would um for like we follow a school schedule so um i had decided already that i was gonna not make a video during my christmas break i was just gonna relax hang out with family enjoy my time with andrew but um a couple things ended up happening so first um i want to share with you guys that andrew and i got a puppy we are so excited we got a three month old shih tzu and we named him topper he is the cutest thing his name totally matches his little funny personality i'll have to introduce you guys to him once i get home he is the cutest little thing i like can't say that enough he is so sweet and so playful um but i'll have to fill you guys in a little bit more on that um later and kind of tell you about him and our training process with him he's been such a good puppy honestly didn't even have to train him to like go outside to use the bathroom he ought automatically was such a good dog i think the hardest part is though is that he does not like it when we leave the house so we're working on that still but other than that he's been such a good little dog and we're just so happy to have him a part of our little family now besides that i wanted to share with you guys that after christmas i ended up getting covid and <laughs> It's kind of one of those things that like I figured that eventually it would probably come around to me but it's one of those things like when you test positive you're like oh my gosh it started off with Christmas night I thought that I just ate something wrong I had an upset stomach it was making really weird noises I had lots of stomach pain lower back pain um the lower back pain felt like period cramps kind of do um so I don't know it was just weird like I would never have thought that it was COVID um I honestly thought that because it was Christmas time and we were eating lots of good food and cookies and rich foods that I just had too many rich foods that my body is normally not used to and my stomach was just upset um I took a little bit of Pepto-Bismol and was like immediately better the next day and was totally fine so thinking that I had COVID just totally did not cross my mind I thought I just had a little bit of food poisoning and an upset stomach it did not feel like I was coming down with something I didn't have a fever I didn't have a cough not really a stuffy nose like I was perfectly fine um and so that really just kind of threw me off when I found out that I had COVID but um I didn't think anything of it I didn't think that those were symptoms and then Andrew and I we spent Christmas at his family's which by the way they are all getting tested quarantined all that stuff nobody's gotten it so far so really grateful for that we drove home and this was after we had gotten topper that night I went to go bite into something that I knew had lots of flavor I told Andrew I was like do these seem bland to you like I can't taste anything all I can taste is salt and then it kind of clicked with me and I realized like this is definitely a sign of COVID but there's no way and so then I went to go pick up a really strong candle that I had and smelled it and I was like I can't smell anything at all and Andrew was like you're lying like he thought I was being ridiculous and didn't believe me because it's kind of one of those things that you like never think it's gonna happen to you and I went around sniffing everything like seeing if I could smell it I think I tried like hot sauce and all I could taste was like the spiciness like on my tongue but I couldn't taste any of the flavor and started freaking out and I was like I have it like there's no way it's anything else there's nothing else that you lose your taste and smell like that like I couldn't smell a thing so I was like I need to go to bed I need to drink lots of water and rest and so I went to bed and the next day like I had no other symptoms still I was a little bit scared that it was going to get worse from there because it still hadn't clicked with me that my upset stomach a couple days earlier than that like before that um it didn't click with me that that was probably my first symptom of it so Andrew and I both got tested together 
um they did like a little self swab it was so weird we did it ourselves we didn't do the rapid test because we wanted it to be super accurate then a couple days later actually I still came back really fast i of course tested positive and andrew tested negative and like i knew that was coming because what else would i have if i can't smell or taste like i'd be really concerned if i didn't have it and i couldn't smell anything so i came back positive and they said from the start of your symptoms um, you have to obviously quarantine for 10 days since your symptoms first started, which since mine were so unsure, um, I just did 10 days from since I found out when I couldn't smell and taste just to be extra careful and took a ton of like probably more than I needed time off of work just because I don't want to give anyone at the dance studio or at work COVID. I think I went about a week with no smell or taste and it was just awful like everything in life is black and white it's so boring um you can tell if things are like sweet spicy or salty but you can't tell like what flavor is the food so it really sucked you don't think about things like the fact that if there was a fire i can't smell that like i couldn't smell even the strongest things um i had to like ask andrew like is this milk bad like can you smell it for me like i could be eating rotten food and i wouldn't even know so it's it's really weird how much that affects you and it just made life so dull and not gonna lie there were a couple of days where i just kind of like broke down and was just like i can't wait what the heck is going on all right um somebody just pulled out in front of somebody else and they laid on their horn that was interesting um i can't remember what i was saying yeah i was kind of like i wanted to break down because uh like you don't know when it's going to come back like it can take two weeks it can take three months it could like there's still people that got it at the beginning of this that still don't have their smell and taste so that was the scariest part for me like my quarantine could be over but i still couldn't taste and smell things um and so i was just scared about like is this ever going to come back so there's the fear of like there's people that lose it and then it comes back and then about a month later their taste and smell is off and it tastes like chemically or just really bad so I am just gonna keep living my life, I guess. There's nothing I can do about it. Honestly, super grateful that I never had a day where I was just laid up in bed and couldn't get out of bed. I never had a day with a fever. Like I had a very, very mild case. The only reason why I knew I had it was because I lost my taste and smell. And I'm super grateful for that. Like I know that there, you know, it obviously can be way worse. And so don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful about that but the smell and taste thing was really difficult for me. But, and then my only other symptom after that was just like bad body aches. And it wasn't like your normal, I have a fever and I have my body's aching a little bit. Like this was like in my joints, like in my knee joint, it was aching like I had arthritis really, really bad. And then I would feel it like in my shoulders and my hips really bad. So that was the only other symptom that I had. This week I'm gonna go back to work. I'm so excited, I'm about to do a Trader Joe's grocery shop. I'm back to that. I haven't gone to Trader Joe's in I think a month so I'm really excited to go do a little grocery shop again and just feel back to normal and get back into things. And now that it's been like 15 minutes of me talking I am finally gonna take you guys through Trader Joe's and I will take you guys home to show you my new little puppy. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so Trader Joe's trip is done. I totally didn't think about the fact that I would have to wait in line and it would be freezing cold to get in. Um, and it's so cold outside. And this long sleeve that I'm wearing has like nothing to it. So I was freezing before I went in, but got everything I needed and more. I got so much food because it's been so long since I've gotten all of my Trader Joe's favorites whenever they ask me like did you find everything you needed I'm like oh yeah like I got way too much I'm excited to show you guys a haul because I got a few new things too and I'm gonna head home now there was something else I was gonna say but I forgot oh I didn't get any footage in the store just because it's a Saturday and it is so freaking crazy in there so I'll just give you guys a little haul once I get home 
I don't know, this might be one of my biggest hauls that I've ever done. We needed so much food and it's just been so long since I've gotten all my faves. So we're gonna start over here with all the fruits and veggies. Got carrots, blueberries, a lemon. I'm really excited to try out the cotton candy grapes. These have been at Trader Joe's for a while um, and just haven't gotten around to trying them. So really excited for that. Um, bananas, avocados, also haven't tried this buffalo ranch chopped salad. So got these little mini sweet peppers to dip in hummus or this really good sour cream spinach dip. So I got a lot of veggies to dip in that, like the cucumber and then zucchini for dinner recipe, um, mushrooms. The snap peas are really good for the dips. And then also some orange juice, sweet potatoes, milk, um, heavy whip because I'm gonna remake the vanilla cream cold foam from Starbucks. Um, frozen pineapple, um, frozen berries. I've been really loving these in like a yogurt parfait, so good. Um, and then got two of these chicken pot stickers um, because Andrew just goes through these so fast. They're really good for lunches, super easy to heat up. I'm so excited to try this chocolate lava milky. I've heard really good things about it, so I have to report back on that. Um, I skipped over this vegan kale cashew and basil pesto. I talked about this in my last um, what I eat in a full week video, and this is really, really good. I don't eat vegan, but just, just decided to try it because so many people said it was good. So that's really good with your pasta. And then just some different spices. We needed like another salt thing and we needed more of this chili lime seasoning it's so so good especially on fish and then got one of these ginger shots two of the sweet chili sauce every single time i buy these and check out a trader joe's they're all like the cashier always says something about this because it's so good we go through it like water and we eat it with these chicken pot stickers and then frozen green beans. We got some Kung Pao chicken. I always get like one of the Asian meals for a super easy dinner night. And then sweet potato gnocchi, also so, so good. Um, I got this soyaki for chicken thighs later this week or next week, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then also three cheese pasta sauce, really good. Some peanut butter. And then we got some avocado oil spray. This is actually new to Trader Joe's. I'm so excited to try it. Um, and then just some olive oil. And then I'm not sure if this is new, but I haven't ever tried this before. It's a beef pot roast already seasoned and ready to go. You just throw it in the crock pot. Super excited to try that. I got potatoes for it right there. And then that's what the carrots are for to do that in the crock pot, I think tomorrow. And then these dark russet potato chips, so, so good. Also, I haven't had these in a while, the jerk style plantain chips, also really good, but really spicy. So if you're not into spice, you might wanna watch out for them because I eat a few and my mouth is on fire. Um, eggs, I'm trying out this bottle of wine. I've never had it before. It says that it's got like fruity, um, it's like a fruity flavor to it, which is always my favorite. I don't like anything too, too sweet, but I do like it to have a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, some salmon burgers, this um, white cheddar popcorn is really good. And then gra grabbed up these garlic naan crackers. I haven't tried these before, but I've had the garlic naan bread, which is really good. And also would be really good in that spinach dip. Our favorite spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. And then just got some ground beef and ground turkey. And that is it. <laughs> I'm about to try some of the cotton candy grapes. I'm so excited for this. All right. These are good. These are really good. They're not like your normal um, green grapes that are like way too tart. Come and try these. Wait, these are actually really good. These are addicting. Everyone meet the new member of our family. This is Topper. Such a cutie. He's a great dog. He is a good dog. But right now we're trying the, I haven't had lunch yet today and it's almost three. 
I'm trying the garlic non crackers with the, this is really hard with one hand, sour cream spinach dip. I already had the spinach dip, but it with the crackers, so good. Do you want to go on a walk? It's being camera shy. The weather is so nice today. We're leaving on a little walk. to grab some things. This looks disgusting. It's bourbon barrel aged maple That's probably syrup. really good. Oh. But it literally says artificially flavored right on the label. That's so gross. I don't Maybe know what syrup to get. So we are doing super simple just frozen pizza for dinner tonight. We rarely ever do this but Andrew picked out this pizza um, like last week or whatever when he did grocery pickup and Kind of a little bit sketched out about that like why has it been at the store for so long it expires on the 17th and today is the 9th which it's still good but i'm like why was it still at the store and i just realized that the crust was made with beer and supposedly tastes like beer i'm not a huge huge beer fan so we'll see how this is i told andrew that if it doesn't taste good he has to order me domino's because we have domino's coupons so We'll see how that goes. That's baking right now. I'm going to put my hair up. I'm gonna get comfy for the evening. And before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna try out this. I finally got a hold of the Ordinary products. I saw them at Ulta and they had them like fully stocked and everything. I feel like sometimes they're hard to find. A lot of the Ultas that I've gone to, they're like, oh yeah, we don't carry it at this one. Um, so I got the niacinamide I think it's called and zinc ordinary um it's kind of like a serum to help control oil because I have oily skin and also just to like help with blemishes and like um blemish marks and stuff like that so maybe it'll make break me out maybe it'll actually work and then I also got the famous exfoliating mask which I'm a little bit scared about because a lot of people say that it like hurts or burns so we'll see how this one goes tonight um and yeah i think our pizza is ready hey are you saying it's good but you're lying oh no so i have these special amazon makeup wipes cloths that just use water and it removes all of your makeup and i think it has seriously saved my skin so much because you're not using like those nasty makeup wipes um and i even take them with me like on vacation too because it just takes water so um i think it's done a lot of good things for my skin i don't break out that often except for like one little pimple but it comes right off doesn't get all of your mascara off so I just take the little cotton rounds and some of this micellar water which this is a really good alternative um this Garnier micellar water I like the pink one it's not as greasy the blue one I've tried before and it just leaves like a film on your face but I don't know what the difference is between the two but this pink one is really good and it gets your face super clean. I don't think it affects my skin either. So if you're looking for an option, if you don't have the makeup cloths, but see that it like got all of my makeup off, um, these are really, really good. Also for not to mention, they come in a pack of six, I want to say for 12 bucks, but everything washes out completely in the wash. They've done really well. I haven't had any problems with them. So they're definitely worth it because 
you end up paying $12 for these reusable ones instead of like $5 and having to replace them every month with regular makeup wipes. We're gonna try the ordinary exfoliating peel that I was talking about earlier. Ooh, I look rough. Look at how cute Topper is. He always is around me all the time, like he has to be within four feet of me and follows me everywhere. He's so sweet. So you're not supposed to let the uh, dropper touch your skin. Otherwise it will contaminate it. It looks so creepy. It looks like blood. I'm scared. Some people said that it burns. Not feeling anything yet. just a little bit on my chin and not anything crazy there were some people that were like oh my gosh it burns that may be a little bit scared um you also have to be really careful with your skin in the sun after you use it so i got which i should already be wearing um face sunscreen every day anyway because it's just good for your skin um but i got some light sunscreen that hopefully won't make me break out. It says that it doesn't cause breakouts. It's Neutrogena and my skin does well with Neutrogenas. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think that's enough. Look, like I have blood all over my face. I hope that's enough. Okay, we're just gonna start with that, I guess. And we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Probably not a good idea to wash it off like in the sink like normal because I don't want it to get in my eyes. I don't know if I notice a huge difference. I feel like I would have to do this multiple times. Moisturize my face with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel stuff. This is the only like face moisturizer that doesn't make me break out and it feels so good. Um, and I got this giant one at Costco. Actually, yeah, my face is like a little bit glowier. We'll see how it feels after the uh, moisturizer. It is now Sunday and we are just hanging out here at home, honestly not doing anything too crazy. As you guys saw, we had a little bit of a fancy breakfast this morning. I got that new waffle maker from Target and it's the Dash brand. They make regular mini waffle makers just like the circle ones, but they also make um, different shapes for all the different holidays. So I got the Valentine's Day one because I thought that I could use it year round no matter what. The heart shapes are so cute 
and it comes like with a little recipe book. I honestly think it's like the best purchase ever. It's only $10 and it was so, so easy to cook up those waffles. That was really good this morning. And other than that, I haven't really been doing anything else. As you can see, I'm totally bumming it today. I don't have any makeup on. I just showered. Um, Andrew's actually out gonna go grab a Starbucks for me. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night, so I need a little bit more coffee than what I had this morning. But that's basically all that's going on. I'm also making that pot roast that I got yesterday at Trader Joe's and it smells so good. But other than that, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I don't wanna bore you guys to death. I think I'm gonna take Topper on a walk here cause it's a really pretty day outside and I have not gone outside yet. So I feel kind of bad about that. But um, basically the same thing as yesterday, just hanging out and enjoying my last day before I go back to work tomorrow. I have a full day ahead. So make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.